going to start going to transition. There we go. <sighs> I'm always having a day. I'm always having a day. All right. Um, oh, oh, this will be the first video I actually record with my face on. True. Only done streams and the added in cell phone footage or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of have my camera in an awkward place, so. Hello! Uh, welcome to Full the Humans. I'm Z, and uh, what you're seeing on the screen right now is me attempting to oh, install shoot. an emulator so Gavin and I can play Mario 64 together for a speedrun. Fun fact yeah. I've never played Mario 64. <laughs> ever! <laughs> And I'm going to attempt to learn a speedrun. Yeah. First we gotta get it set up, but there's a mod that you can get uh, called uh, Net64 Plus that allows online play. So we're that's what we're setting up first. Alright, so you're, on, you're gonna want to go to the emulator folder. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, alright. And then uh, Project 64, the second from the bottom. This one? All right, and then you'll go to File and then Open ROM. And then you're just going to have to find where you put it. Yep, just hit that. And as soon as you see Super Mario 64, hit F2. F2. So now you want to go to Options, then Settings. This now also counts as a tutorial. <laughs> And then you'll want to uh, hit uh, configure here. Uh, yeah, just hit, hit hit the yeah that. All right, so you want to go to memory size and turn it to sixteen megabytes. And then change your counter factor to one. Okay. That's it, and just hit apply and okay. All right, and then you want to set up your controller, so you go to options, and then you, you're you looking for a configure controller plugin. Then you see that, and then you just, uh, at the top at devices, pick your controller. And then in the bottom right, you want to hit setup. And then so now, whatever's highlighted, you want to input. As a dyslexic, this is very difficult to remember which way is right and which way is left. Boop. Okay. All right, and then you can you can hit save. Save. And then just name it, and it's your controller profile. And that way, if it ever gets defaulted out, you can just go to load, and it'll load up your controller profile. And that'll just save in your ROM folder. Saving it as Pikachu controller because I have a Pikachu controller. Yeah, it's my fave. Hit, I'm looking over okay. this way because my screen's over here. Sorry, camera people. I'm not looking at the camera. I'll probably have to put the camera over there. Anyway, All right, so hit just okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so you're going to hit F1 to soft reset, and then when you hear, see Super Mario 64, hit F2 to pause it again. Oh, you have to unpause it first, sorry. Okay, hit F2, hit F1, F2. Okay. Okay, um, so now you want to go back to your emulator folder where you had... Um... Oh, my, this emulator folder? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you want to go to client, and then find the Net64 Plus application. Should be towards the bottom. I found it. And just double click it and open it up. Once it's up, first thing you want to do is you want to hit the settings, which is the top, this? yep, right there. And then pick a username and pick your character in the drop down. <laughs> Ooh, so many options. Sonic? Yeah, yeah, just do... Kirby! For the purpose of this, we'll just do Mario and Luigi, because the other characters have alternate abilities. Oh, okay. 
Gamepad. Should I tell it my gamepad? Gamepad? Uh, sure. I didn't on mine, but I don't know what it does. You know so. what? I'm just going to not tell it. And then you just scroll all the way to the bottom and hit save. Cool beans. Oh, I can and, be then, and then you want to go to home uh, and hit start. And then you want to hit select. And it should bring you to the server screen. It said my memory is not set to 16. I always forget what I have. I'm pretty sure I All right, go, go back and make sure in the configuration. All right, just hit OK. And then uh, un unpause and reset it. Me, All right, and then try and that's a... Uh, you might have to open it again and... That's fine. <laughs> there we go. Alright, and then top left it should be connect. And then I will get Top left? Oh, it's be so uh top right, I mean. Oh <laughs> Don't do this. And then it it should be uh and port. Uh, you should just hit connect. Okay. I'll accept that difference. I'll still go and get Too late, I hit connect. That's fine. I'm, I just gotta do something on the fly. Error, connect, timeout. So, uh, viewers, this video will probably go up first. Um, essentially, this is just us trying to get connected to it. Uh, if we hit 50 subscribers, we will do a joint speed run, and it'll be my first ever speed run because I've never speed sped sped run anything before. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, if you can hear someone talking in the background, that's my husband. Entertainment checkpoint. I'm married to him. Not to Gavin. <laughs> Already had someone ask me that. Try try again and import put. Uh... And then try and connect. I'm doing it now. And if it works, it should ask you for a password. Long time. You might have to log into Hamachi like we were mm. doing it for for Minecraft. I hit connect again now that it's logged in. Yeah, I see you. You see me? Maybe? Yeah, on my I can see whenever someone connects to my Amaji server. Mm. Okay, for IP address, try 73.12.90.230 and keep the port number the same. <gasps> B-U-T-T-Z-1 B-U-T-T-Z-1 Mm-hmm Oh shit It says I'm in And there's a unicorn Not sure where there's a unicorn, but there's a unicorn Oh shit, it disconnected me Um Yes, we're both in the server. Yes, finally. Okay, so now you should be able to go to Mario 64 and then unpause it. And you hey, might have Mario. to do an F1 for a reset. No. Oh, hit start. Okay, um, hold on, I'm gonna retry. Okay. So go back to go back to net sixty four. Mm-hmm. And then go to home. Mm-hmm. And hit start again. And then select the emulator. And then 
There we go. It should say any of you go over there, Net64 connected. It did say that. All right. Oh. Um, Net64 just closed. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Oh, okay. Um, I guess uh, go to uh, Mario B. Maybe. That's the one I'm in. <laughs> All right, so are you in game yet? Uh, yeah, it's, oh! Oh, but I think I'm, I can't tell if I'm Mario or Luigi. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I'm Luigi! Oh, I fucked okay. up. You're Luigi, but we're not in the same game. Oh. Okay, I think we need to try again. So hit F1. I'm gonna... I'm gonna close out the emulator completely. So just close everything out? Yeah. Start screen, and then I'm gonna... See if I can get that. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> So you open up Project 64. You open up Project 64, you start the ROM, and you pause it on the start screen. And then you go back, you open... You open that 64. Okay, opening it up. Pulling constantly, it's not even saying like, can't connect or timed out, it's just circling. Alright, you might have to try closing Net64 and restarting it. Yeah, I'm doing that now. Start the emulator. Dark connect. Okay, cool, you're in. Did a file there. Hello. Okay, so B? Yeah. In Eerie, that should <gasps> oh i see you oh man really oh we got it to work yeah you just have to go through the cutscene, and then we'll be i see you oh my god holy shit we got it to work i can't believe it <laughs> oh my god and it, it only took like what 45 minutes of me fucking with server shit <laughs> yeah like all of our other like all like took just about, like sky factory took about in total for any viewers who care it took about an hour to set this all up and get it to work oh uh, to be fair though i was kind of doing it on the fly this is true we weren't ready <laughs> we just kind of made this decision like i don't know what five hours ago oh my god you're moving yeah i can see you move in real time <laughs> you're a little clippy but yeah, oh no, don't hit me though, there's friendly fire. Oh, sorry. 